Roll camera. Uh, more, more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I... down. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Clap. So I guess uh, the first video I ever watched from the Wang Fu guys was, um, I think it was Yellow Fever actually. And back then actually YouTube was, was pretty new. And at the time, I guess it wasn't really even my, myself that actually found it. It was a buddy of mine who sent it to me like through MSN one day. And then, so I checked it out. And then uh, the first time I actually watched through the full thing, I. I guess a part of it actually resonated with me and I just, I, I found some connections with it. I was going through a lot of these things as well and I noticed and I picked up a lot of this stuff and seeing in a video actually caught my attention and I guess that's why I started paying attention to them. First timing is actually with uh, an interview with Go. At what? One PM. So uh, Justin's gonna be conducting the interview. Uh, Christian, Sean, Joe will set up for productions. Brian's gonna be helping with the file management. Um, make sure you guys know the timings uh, because even though right now we are uh, actually part ahead of the timing, but later on, especially when. I say hits, it should be really uh, tight on timings and we don't want to be late. Um, for room arrangements, uh, Sean, do you know who's going to be going to which room? I don't know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you should talk right now because uh, I know you're trying to. Well, we have two rooms of uh, four people, that means one person has to. Uh, I guess like sleep on a couch of that room, but then like, it's like seeking one person into each room. these three Asian guys going to university and they're you know throwing out this video and you know aside from that I guess the message in it was really good too it was I guess 
you know, the message was really clear, it was, re it was really distinct, it was something I could relate to. You know, having grown up, you know, in Vancouver, it's like, I've been, you know, a Canadianized Asian for the most part, and that's what the Wong Fu guys actually portrayed to me too. So as you see, the lineup climbing all the way down there. Just for just for coffee at the original Starbucks. Looking at them now, they've done so many more videos, and it's like I keep watching because I know that it's some sort of symbol, you know, that says to me that you know Asian culture at least, you know, has that opportunity and has the potential to actually become Westernized and become something mainstream. They use YouTube as this medium, you know, as this venue, for example, just to, you know, sh showcase all their sorts of talents and stuff like that. And I guess that kind of gave me some inspiration and, you know, brought back that kind of like hope that, you know, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but, you know, eventually that, you know, these Asian artists, for example, could eventually get out there by, you know, posting videos online, for example, and starting small. And, you know, it just brings back that artistic side of, you know, I guess my, you know, my culture and sort of you know, the, the passion that I still have for the arts, even though it's not something I would pursue as a career at the moment, it's still, you know, it lights a fire in it and it's like, it gives you that inspiration for it. Um, I mean, there's things that to be hopeful for. I, um, hopefully, there will be other artists like that can reach the mainstream success of like FM. Maybe what new media is right now will become the mainstream, and it's not just about who's on the television or who's in the movie theater, but people that you know that are on on YouTube or whatever can actually be you know start being taken more seriously as well. Um, I think you know our community has definitely. Um, uh, accepted that early on and I think you know everyone's going to come around to that very soon. Yeah. Um, the landscape's changing very fast and uh, we're just trying to keep up. For me, you know, the arts actually wasn't always a primary interest for me. I guess I kind of got into it after grade eight. You know, I really enjoyed being on stage. I really enjoyed playing other characters, and it just felt, you know, it felt at home sometimes, most of the times, on stage. And I guess for me, you know, the passion for the arts isn't to become famous or become, you know, rich or anything. It's, it's to yeah, just work on your craft and actually do things that you really enjoy doing. And I guess, you know, I don't even think the Wang Fu guys really intended to really become, you know, become famous by any means or actually make a, you know, an actual living out of this. It, I think it started off as a hobby and, you know, that the same for me, actually. It's, it's kind of like a medium for me to always fall back on if I'm, you know, in times of stress, you know, things aren't really going the right way and, you know, I can always fall back on, you know, the arts and, you know, just really get in touch with that sort of side and, you know, do what I love doing. And I think that's what the Wang Fu guys do, too, is that they are doing what they, you know, they love doing as well and it's it just so happened you know coincidentally that you know they are YouTube celebrities now so you know being a YouTube celebrity or you know, even a celebrity just in general it isn't a big goal. it's not a primary goal at all you know if it happens it happens but I, I do it all because of the passion you know the love that I have for it and I'm sure you know a lot of these artists do it for the same reasons.